but let, let's look at two in particular. So one is the exponential growth of data. So we are still in the beginning. This is going to be much bigger. And we have the exponential growth of data for the web 3.0. Um, for instance, and we have as well, well the metaverse, let's put it that way, because according to most of the studies I mentioned before, it's 1,000 times bigger. So how can we cope with this growth and this exponential growth? That's the first part of the question. And the second one is how can we create sustainable business out of this? And you mentioned that you're working in, in, a, in an organization and the company for that. And I'm sure it will be a second talk of interview for the future. But how do you do cope these two things? Because the two are interrelated. How, how do you control these things? You know, uh, it takes me, uh, it, it's going, it's, it, the human factor will just, comp it's going to explode. So there's going to be no, could, were, were we able to, you, we could not, when a technology explode, explodes, you can't control it. Internet, could anyone control it? You, they're trying, China, China is trying. Uh, you know, China did it, but uh, at what cost, right? But by and large, a technology like internet, uh, <clears throat> uh, pornography, pornography, who, who has been able to control it? It, it is just, all, you know, for a long for a long time, before internet became a video playground uh, and, and, and everything else became video, almost 60% of the internet was pornography. You can't control it. If someone is thinking that the metaverse can be controlled, you're kidding yourself. It's going to, all you can do is, 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 is scale, get yourself ready to scale with it because it, it's going to, like I said, it's going to become, it's going to, if, if you look at the metaverse as replacing URLs just for the corporate world, forget anything else. Think of the, think of the size of the business. Think of the size of the business. Now we're not talking about individuals. We're not talking about you know the rest of it. We're not talking about. We're just talking about the corporate world and their web pages. I'm not even talking about the the <clears throat> the entertainment, the games. I'm just talking about simple uh, BDX web page. The your business, the web page, combination web page, just the front page. No more URL, but a metaverse. Just think about it. That itself. Is 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 mind boggling, and, it's, and we are looking at the problem we have is where are we going to be able to build? So I think the question you are asking is, uh, I'm coming to it finally in my convoluted way. Uh, it all ties up, right? I mean, to the earlier things we discussed, you are going to need a heck of a lot of data centers far beyond what we are doing. How is that possible? It's not possible at the with the current technologies that govern power generation, right? Basically, it all boils down to, uh, do you know, uh, then is it boils down to power, power, uh, electricity, powering those servers, powering those data centers is going to become so critical when the metaverse kicks in because where is the power? You don't have the power today. It's just not there, which is why I brought up the controversial thing about nuclear, which you know doesn't please many people. But you tell me, what else do we have? How do you sustain? How do you sustain the growth? I I'm not worried about that. Uh, we have seen again and again and again that uh, when the right product comes at the right time, it takes off. Once you have networking externalities, like you know, start let's look at the fax machine. The first fax machine you bought, what do you do with it? You plug it in. Who are you going to send a fax to? There's no one else. But the minute I have a fax machine, then we both can communicate. Then someone else has a fax machine, and you have the networking externalities, and the technology just takes off. Same things happen with the internet. Same things will happen with the metaverse. The metaverse is where every person and every enterprise will have a stake. So the same way as, for example, people companies have web pages, they're going to have a meta. They better start looking right now for a metaverse location because it's going to be so this just think of uh, i think the best way i can discuss it is we're going to graduate from the urls into the metaverse that's what's going to happen you're going to just graduate from there the, the your your web page is going to become passe and it's going to be the metaverse and then in the metaverse you know uh, you, you, we're we, we're going to Augmented reality is going to become an extension of us, my friend. Uh, there, 
And I think in many ways, Hollywood, you know, thinks it through better than us. And there are some very interesting movies that, that play on the subject. But I tell you, they hit the technology spot on. Uh, we, if, if, if you look at our reality, right? So we, you and I are used to this reality. I'm sitting in this room. I'm used to this room. Just use it. And now look at it. You are now part of my reality, though you are sitting in Europe, right? I'm sitting here. We both. Uh, so uh, the, the, it just took one pandemic for this to become so normal, right? So normal for me to, to talk to you. I can sit in here in Bali. I can go back to Hong Kong. I don't have to move out of my home, but I can conduct business because of this. Right? Now, the next step is going to be I'm stepping into something. You're going to step into something, and we're both going to be there. Uh, and that's going to become the new reality. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And we are racing in BDX to see, we're starting off with digital twinning because that is the, the first step for us to be able to, uh, so now our data centers, when we make a new data center, we have a virtual build of it. We can check it out. We can test it. We're not there yet. We are still finalizing the, um, the digital twinning. But essentially, I within a year or so, I won't have to go through new laborious processes to try and test fit or test out a new construction, kick the tires. No, I can do it on a digital twin. That is a metaverse. In a way, it's, a, it's augmented reality. I'm able to create a, 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 a digital version of a data center that is as real as the one I'm going to build. If if I move some make some mistake here, it will it will. If I use a different kind of concrete, or if I use a different kind of chiller, uh, and I make the change in the in the digital version, it will be exactly like if I had done that in the real version. But now I don't have to build the real one first. I can do all the testing here. So this is one step to the metaverse. Uh, but of course, this is a technical um, use. The most important use is going to be, you know, me being able to sit with my grandchild and play with him, even though he's sitting in in San Francisco and I'm here. So it's going to happen, my friend. Well, it's it's really impressive, and I love the the technical level that you go on this. And I think this is uh, I, I want to probably do another series about this uh, because it's really a, a very important topic.